so we just saw this gauss law for electrostatics which say electric flux through a closed surface no no matter what is the shape of surface is always q upon epsilon not where q is the charge enclosed by the surface charge enclosed by the surface and epsilon not that you know is a fundamental constant permittivity of free space so you know it does not matter what is the shape of this surface what where this charge is situated it can be here 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 or as well as here so it is always q upon epsilon not total flux out uh, total flux through a closed surface s so one thing is that in the previous case there was a charge situated at the center of this sphere and we saw that this is simply charge q upon epsilon not so if we see if there is no charge inside this surface let us say the charge was outside this surface charge was outside this surface then what will happen that means flux through this surface should be zero because that this phi is simply q upon epsilon not so if there is no charge enclosed remember this is charge enclosed by surface this is not any charge this charge must be inside the surface here it is not inside it is outside the surface if this charge is outside the surface then the flux should be zero in that case if there is a charge and this charge is outside that means flux should be zero through that surface let us see in this example please see this diagram this is diagram 1.26 so here we are seeing a cylinder this is a cylinder a cylinder always have three surfaces one surface another surface is two and this third surface surf this curved surface what do you say, always say curved surface so it has three surface area let us say let mark this as a1 first surface area this is second surface area a2 and this the area of this curved surface area 3 a3 so it has three surface area a1 a2 a3 so the total surface area a is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 so this is the total surface area of this this cylinder so this is the total surface area of this cylinder area of curved surface area of the bottom bottom uh, bottom circle area of of the top circle so this is the total surface area so now let us see there is no charge there is no charge inside this cylinder and but it is in the electric field electric field is coming because of some other charge let us see a charge is here and this charge is sending some electric field in this direction let us say in this direction so there is an electric field you know that charge emits electric field and charge is emitting electric field in this direction but this charge is not inside this cylinder so do you understand the case the total surface area is surface area of 1 surface area of 2 plus surface area of 3 charge q is outside this cylinder and it is emitting a uniform electric field electric field is in this direction as i have shown in the figure please remember this figure let us solve this so now this law says that the flux through a closed surface is zero if no charge is enclosed by the surface so that we have seen that there is no charge that means flux through this surface should be zero so here the electric field is uniform so electric field we have considered uniform and flux through surfaces is again flux through this surface one this is surface one is let us say this is area is a1 this flux through this surface is phi1 flux through this surface is phi2 okay flux through this surface is phi3 phi1 phi2 phi3 so total flux is phi is equal to phi1 plus phi2 plus phi3 this is a total flux 
okay now the direction of electric field is this and what is the direction of this surface direction of this surface is outwards so that means if you draw a normal so e and this surface is has always perpendicular that means cos 90 cos 90 that means zero that means zero so flux e e dot delta s where e e is in this direction s normal to the surface is in this direction so you get a cos 90 cos 90 means flux through this surface will be zero so phi 3 is cancel out phi 3 is zero now we are remaining with phi 1 and phi 2 so now see the outward normal of surface 2 is in this direction outward normal of surface 1 is in this direction here the angle is 0 degree cos 0 is cos 0 is 1 1 here angle between e and delta s is 180 degree so cos 180 cos 180 is equal to minus 1 so here the area element is opposite area element is in same direction so let us calculate so in the first case in this case e dot delta s this is simply e area element delta s and cos theta is cos 0 so e delta s cos 0 is 1 so this is simply 1 so this is simply e delta s here it is e delta s this is e delta s now for this this angle is 180 degree so e dot delta s again e delta s and cos is cos 180 degree 180 degree cos 180 is minus 1 so it is again same it is again same but with a minus sign so the total flux is equal to minus e delta s plus e delta s and this both this plus and minus cancels out so again the total flux phi is equal to 0 so the gauss law is true even in this case even though there was an electric field there was an electric field but the total flux is zero understand in this thing in a similar term suppose you have a pipe you have a pipe and the water is coming into this pipe so the water coming into the pipe is water going out of the pipe so let us say water coming in is a positive thing water going out is a negative thing so always nothing is coming out of the surface if you have a pipe nothing coming out of the surface but only water going in or going out is from the ends so the water in going inside the pipe must be water coming out of the pipe hence total water kept inside the pipe is always zero so that is the same thing that is the very similar thing but this time we have understood in terms of gauss law so if the charge is inside charge is inside that means total electric flux phi is equal to simply q upon epsilon not if no charge is inside charge is only outside the flux is always equal to zero okay same thing they have done here phi1 is equal to minus es1 phi2 is equal to es2 and s1 is equal to s2 because you know this this area and this area for a cylinder must be equal this radius is equal to this radius because this is a circle so area s1 is must be equal to area s2 okay so in this way we found that gauss law is valid even for any type of shape if the charge enclosed by the surface that means the flux is q upon epsilon not if charge is outside the surface the flux should be zero now we will see some of the some of the properties associated with this gauss law